time now for a look at your health. If you haven't made dinner just yet, think about this. March is National Nutrition Month, to so throw out the hamburger helper, <laughs> a campaign for people to practice eating healthier to help us sort out which foods we should eat more of and which ones we should stay away from is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for being here. Good to be here before dinner. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Well, this awareness campaign, of course, stems from our obesity problem here in the country. How bad is it? One out of every three Americans is obese. So that's a lot of people that are obese out there. And in, but in California, we're, the, we're sort of number 12 uh, in the least obese states. So there's 38 states that are more obese than us, but we can still work Californians to have a better diet. Well, and I think this is important to talk about because it's starting to get confusing because we get such a barrage of information, but you've broken it down into really simple terms. So let's talk about which foods we should eat more of starting out with whole grains. Yes, instead of the processed grains, so like white bread, whole grain bread. The more grains in the bread, the better, because you're eating a lot of the nutrients in the grain, not just the processed grain, also high in fiber. And you say vegetables, fruits, low-fat dairy and soy, vegetable oils, seafood. Can you elaborate yeah, on those? Everything that we always talk about, the more vegetables, and we should really be eating about two and a half cups of vegetables a day. The really good ones are things like broccoli and spinach uh, but and carrots. But also we need to eat nuts. Nuts are like almond, very high in vitamin E. Mm -hmm. And then seafood. We never eat enough seafood because, you know, in recent reports last week, um, the American Medical Association came out saying, that eating meat is actually harmful like we didn't know especially processed meats like bacon so try always to get a little more fish into your diet let's uh, run down the list of what we should steer clear of well it's basically <laughs> processed me. foods you, we want to stay clear of foods that are high in fat potato chips you know things like that and then sugars as Americans we eat way too much sugars way too much processed food and you have solid fats, refined grains, sodium. And what do you mean particularly about solid fats? Solid fats would be like margarine, lard, things of that sort. If we're going to have fats, canola oils, peanut oils, almond oils, those are the types of uh, polyunsaturated fats that we should be eating. And, you know, you can cook with them and do very well with it. And when you say refined grains, we should point out that's where on the label you looked and it says bleached, right? Anything yes. that says bleached is not good. Yeah, whole wheat flour, not good. You know, big, you know, a lot of grains and nutrients, that's good. So we can actually improve our health and not only will we improve our general health by having more antioxidants, but we'll have better skin too. You can decrease the risk of skin cancer just by eating a handful of almonds a day. and. Finally, coffee is actually good. Three cups of mm. coffee will decrease your risk of skin cancer. So a lot of good things we could do, glass of wine, coffee, nuts. You know, we don't have to skimp on being happy to be healthy. Yeah, and hair, skin, and nails are really a, a telltale sign of your overall health. So, so you that's must, an good yeah. important. And you must eat wonderfully because oh, your yeah. skin and hair and nails are great. <laughs> it's called lighting. <laughs> uh, well, I'm a doctor. I'm up close. But <laughs> well, thank uh, you. we'll see how Lauren looks over there, too. I think he looks <laughs> dapper. Thank you, Dr. Mitchell Goldman. Good to see you as always. And uh, hey, it's broken down simply here so we can make little steps tonight. You know, and if you're not a big fan of vegetables, try growing your own and suddenly everything tastes better when you grow it yourself.